So recently I've seen quite a bit of talk on social media and YouTube regarding Warzone performance between Battle.net and the Steam app. And yeah, you can see that the Battle.net version of Warzone runs quite a bit better than the Steam version, right? But that's not all. We also had a few followers that uh, tested it. Yeah, is Himu. You can go follow him on Twitter. He shares quite a Quite a lot of in-depth testing as well. And here he is with his 9950X3D and a 5090, I believe, getting 332 frames per second average decent lows. And this is with the Battle.net app. And then here is the Steam app and he's getting quite a few few frames less, right? He's getting 266 frames per second average and the lows are quite a bit worse. And then on the Xbox app, the Xbox app seems to uh, to fit in right in the middle, right? So I decided to test the Steam app versus the Battle.net app only in Warzone. This supposedly only affects Warzone and not the campaign. And uh, I mean, I don't I don't have the campaign anyway, except for the for on Game Pass. So today we'll just be testing a few things. I've, I've got a suspicion here that it might be AMD CPU related because every single test I've seen so far runs an AMD CPU, right? So for today's testing, I'm going to use my 7800X3D paired with a 9070XT and with a 5070 Ti because I want to see if it is caused by uh, an AMD GPU versus Nvidia GPU. And then I'm going to also just put the 5070 Ti in my 14700K system, which has it's stuck, but it's got uh, 7200 megatransfers per second CL34 memory just running XMP, right? All right, so let's get right to the benchmarks. Before we get into the benchmarks, I just want to show you, I do not have the Steam overlay enabled at all, nor do I have any game recording enabled. So nothing additional in Steam is enabled here that could affect the, the game's performance. So with that said, let's jump right into the benchmarks. All right, so first up, we've got the 97XT and the 5700X3D, sorry. We've got uh, Battle.net on the left and then Steam on the right. And I'm just testing 1440p Extreme with 200% resolution scale. That is almost 5K, right? So, or basically 5K. When we are fully GPU bound, there's no difference here between the two apps, Battle.net and Steam perform pretty much identical, except for with for run to run variances. And then if we drop this down to 100% resolution scale, again, we are pretty much fully GPU bound. I did want to test this one because there are some areas where we are CPU bound. And you can see that the lows seem to be a little bit better on the Battle.net side than on Steam. But again, a war zone is very tricky to test consistently, right? It took me quite a few hours to get all this footage together. And the reason for that is that sometimes people will start shooting me whilst I'm benchmarking. Nobody's got any respect for benchmarkers anymore. Anyway, so now I've got a fully CPU bound situation here where we have 27% re uh, render resolution scale. That's the lowest that it can go. <laughs> and now you can see that there's quite a bit, bit of a difference between Battle.net and Steam. Not as extreme as I've seen on the on the socials, but you can see that it's around 20 frames per second high, 282 versus 262, and the lows are also still better. Now, if we pop in the 5070 Ti, same 7800 X3D system, that's just 6,000 megatrons per second CL30 memory. I forgot to mention that. And once again, at 200% render resolution scale, no difference whatsoever. If you see any differences between the 9070XT and the 5070Ti, it's just because stock versus stock, the 9070XT in Warzone or Call of Duty specifically is faster than the 5070Ti. You see what I mean? Always, <laughs> all these people just are trying to ruin my benchmarks here. All right, so if we then do 100% render resolution scale, Battle.net pulls ahead slightly, but it can probably be attributed to camera placement not being the same. As I said, it's impossible to test this 100% consistently. It's not, I'm just doing the best I can, yeah. But when we are doing 100% render resolution scale, yeah, both perform pretty much the same. And then if we do 27% render resolution scale on the 5070Ti, again, Battle.net is quite a bit ahead. The 9070XT plus 7800X3D does pull ahead slightly, yeah, but um, and we're not here to compare GPUs, we're here to compare apps. And with the 5070Ti on the Battle.net app, we once again see around 25 up to 30 frames per second more on Battle.net than on Steam. 
And now we get to the interesting part here. We have the 14700K uh, paired with 7200 megatrons per second CL34 memory. And again, using the 200% render resolution scale here with the 5070Ti, really not much difference between the two. Uh, again, we're fully GP bound here. And really, when, uh, that's what I noticed, right? If there's, if you are C GPU bound, the differences are very, very little. And I just realized that I forgot to change the name in MSR Afterburner from RX 5080 to the RX 5070 Ti. Now, if we drop it down to 100% render resolution scale, we are still pretty much GPU bound, right? And again, there's really not much difference between Battle.net and uh, Steam here. Both are doing around 125, 130 frames per second average here, and uh, the lows are pretty similar. So really no differences here whatsoever. All right, now when we get to a fully CPU bound scenario with 27% render resolution scale, you can see that there's, there is a slight difference, but not a lot, right? Uh, at the end of the run, you'll see that they even out quite a bit. Now, I just have to point out that I, I did disable all Steam overlays, all Steam background recordings. Nothing is running that should not be running, right? All right, so at the end here, you can see 260 frames per second versus 257 frames per second, Battle.net versus Steam. So that kind of confirms the suspicion that... It is maybe some Steam overheads affecting AMD CPUs a bit more than on Intel CPUs. But I would love if you guys can give me some feedback. I'd love some additional data points on this because currently this is a single data point, right? So it's not conclusive, but that is kind of my suspicion. Yeah. All right. That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.